rite of passage defined. Um, when I used to hear rite of passage, I would think of tribal Indians going off into the wilderness for survival. Um, it's not a common term that we use here as much in the United States, um, but it's a ceremony or a ritual, and it marks the transition from a person from one stage to another stage. So um, I picked 10 what I would consider pretty common rites of passage for um, kids living here. In, in this culture here. Um, it also marks the entrance into maturity. A lot of cultures uh, use it formally as becoming an adult. Um, and also then there's religious and social groups, and you guys have one here with confirmation is one, um, bar mitzvahs, um, social de debuts. We don't have as much of those in here as they do back east, but women having their, you know, um, young women having their parties and stuff. And we think about a lot of these traditions in other countries because here in our western industrialized country, we don't have, uh, for a lot of us, there's not, a, there's a lack of these passages that we have. And the reason we're talking about this is because I think they're really important for helping kids help learn that they are getting older and taking more responsibilities and more privileges. And these are passages that help <coughs> mark or celebrate those milestones. And not having them makes it unclear to uh, young people when they have really become an adult. For example, they can vote at 18. They're technically legally an adult, which makes all sorts of problems for students who are 18 and still in high school. But the drinking age is 21. Even that in and of itself is a conflict in legally in what it means to become an adult.